if you want to learn more about a play written by me, Monique Hebert, The Mean Girl and the Best Friend, and the Talking It Out Playwriting Festival, watch this video right now. It's a great one. I first fell in love with theater kind of um, as a child growing up. Kind, of, I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, and so I would go to Playoff Square, which is the big theater district there. And it would go with my family and just really love the idea of seeing stories being told right before your eyes that really always kind of drew me in. In high school, I was involved with my high school's kind of um, theater department, like their backstage. I've never kind of been an actor, somebody who's been on stage, but just being around the production of it has always been really exciting to me. And then after college, I moved out to Seattle, Washington, and that's where I first started actually playwriting and, and trying my hands at writing plays and musicals. Um, and I just love the whole idea of being able to tell a story through this medium, because being able to be in the space with actors and have such different creative input on everything has been really rewarding and is something that I love about theater. I have always written since I was a child my... Um, college degree was in English literature. So I kind of always grew up like knowing that I was loving writing and wanted to write, but never really thought of it as a career or something that I could um, make a future for myself in until I moved out to Washington. Um, and just being able to see a lot of local theaters here and, and the way that they put on shows kind of really inspired me that I could do something like this. And I think also seeing a lot of people that more looked like me and more from where I came from, seeing more of that representation really helped um, create it in my mind that this is something that I could pursue. And I really became like obsessed with like wanting to write and trying to get my stuff out there. Theater to me is representation. And one of the big reasons why I write personally, besides just loving storytelling, is that, that I can provide that representation. I didn't see um, myself as a Black woman on stage a lot growing up or as a writer. So to be able to showcase that for other people is really important to me. And especially um, talking about mental health and communities of color, I want to be able to bring awareness to that as well. And so this particular festival because has helped me been able to do that and living in Seattle being able to see such a, a, a diverse group of theater makers has also really inspired me to want to keep um, chugging along at it. So my process for creating plays definitely varies. Sometimes I have an idea and then I kind of you know storyboard it out and kind of flush it out more um, and but and I get ideas from everywhere. So this current play that's in the Talking Out Play Festival was actually brought on by a therapy session I had and it was an assignment from my therapist um, to kind of talk about the negative and positive voices that are inside of my head. And so I kind of wrote it from that experience. And um, so my plays tend to be a lot more personal. So a lot of times it's something that's happened to me or somebody I know, and then it kind of sparks this idea to go about creating something. I first heard about the Talking Out Playwriting Festival um, kind of online. I kind of heard some buzz about it. And then finding out that it was specifically about mental health really drew my interest because I'm somebody that has not only struggled with my own mental health, but also is a very good advocate for like just bringing about mental health awareness. And so to be able to be a part of something where I can, you know, A, showcase my plays um, and be able to bring awareness to mental health was just an opportunity that I knew I couldn't pass up. And I was just so excited about it. So the Mean Girl, the Best Friend came about from a therapy session that I had where I was going over how um, I can be the meanest person to myself, like the meanest person has ever things the meanest things that have ever been said to me are coming from my own head. Um, and so to kind of explore that, I decided to write about a character and kind of go inside this young woman's head and see the positive voice, which is the best friend, and then the negative voice, which is the mean girl, and to kind of have them battle out over who kind of has control and to really like talk about how um, how we treat ourselves, I think is a really big theme of it. And I had to write it because it just felt like it was just oozing out of me. It was an expression of me and I had to get it out there. And it, the intention of it was to never, you know, become an actual theatrical production. It was just for me personally. But when I had written it down and saw the power that I had put in the words, I was like, yeah, this is something that I definitely think other people can relate to and something that I want to share with other people. The Mean Girl and the Best Friend is about the two voices in your head, the positive and negative voice. And so it follows a young woman who is in college, who is just struggling um, with getting through school and with some other kind of mental issues. And so throughout the play, you have the Mean Girl voice, which is in control, which is telling her really horrible things about herself. 
And then the positive voice, the best friend who is trying to take over that control and trying to um, really uplift the person and help them see the good in themselves that they don't see. So it's basically an internal battle, a struggle between these two voices and trying to figure out which one is going to win in the end. So the two actors, I got to sit on rehearsal last week and they were really great. Um, the mean girl is going to be played by Raya and then the best friend is played by Gemma and they're both um, really talented actresses who really encompass what it kind of means to be the, the negative voice and the positive voice. And so I think they do a really good job of playing off of each other and um, in presenting this kind of complex work. I want the audience to get out of this play um, thinking about their own lives and the way that they talk to themselves and the things that they think about themselves. I really want it to be self-reflective. Um, a big piece of theater to me is also having, creating something that I can start conversations with. Um, I love to go see plays and musicals that afterwards, like I immediately want to talk about it and, you know, share my thoughts and kind of reflect on things. And so I've always wanted to, to create shows like that. And I think this play in particular can really kind of help people figure out, you know, those negatives and positive thoughts that they're having, where they're coming from, and possibly how to, to deal with them. I'm just really excited about the Talking Out Playwriting Festival to be able to see all these plays um, over the whole umbrella of mental health, to be able to have plays that are about, you know, depression and anxiety and um, dementia and a lot of different topics, being able to cover that, it makes me really excited. And I've talked to some of the other playwrights involved. Um, and they all have really great unique stories that they want to share. And I'm just really excited to be able to see them all and to, to bring awareness um, on this topic of mental health. I hope that this festival helps increase awareness around mental health and mental health awareness and mental health conditions. Um, and I, I loved that they have been able to, to kind of sponsor with the National Alliance on Mental Illness and be able to give half of the donations to that. And so that's something that I would love to see continued because that's a really great organization that helps a lot of people who are struggling. And just to be able to like talk about this taboo subject and help normalize it is really a great goal. And I think moving forward, this festival is going to continue to do that. And the fact that we're here now talking about it, I think is going to make the world a difference for the future. So it's really exciting to think about that this festival is going to continue on and going to bring more awareness and normalize um, mental health for people. The Talking It Out Play Festival is so important, especially right now going through this pandemic. A lot of people are struggling um, with their mental health. And so to be able to shine a light on that and for also playwright to be able to write plays that are specifically about mental health, I think is really important, whether they're sharing their story or somebody else's story or just, you know, a, a character. I think to be able to bring light to that is really great. And I think it can help a lot of people. I think the community should definitely support the Talking It Out um, Play Festival because it's something that brings awareness to mental health conditions. And it's very unique in that all the plays are kind of around this one topic. So I think if the community and the theater community especially came together and um, saw how powerful it is to be able to create plays about one specific subject and shed light and bring awareness, I think it would really help in the future. I hope you enjoyed this conversation talking about the Talking It Out Play Festival and a play written by me, Monique Hebert, the mean girl and the best friend is going to be in it. And I'd love for everybody to go see it because this is a great festival to be able to bring awareness to mental health and half of the proceeds will go to the National Alliance on Mental Illness. And we'd really appreciate it if people came out and, and got to see it.